They loving my swag. They loving my swag. They loving my swag. Yeah, they loving my dad. They loving my dad. They loving my dad. Talk, talking my swag. Hey, I am Robert Primes. PT checking in with y'all. Yeah, hey, 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 yeah. So today, 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 y'all, I got a crazy topic for y'all. I got two special guests that's gonna host with me today. I got Aaliyah to my left. Hey, y'all. I got Anna to my right. Hey, y'all. She don't talk very, very much, <laughs> clearly. But all right, y'all. So look, man, this is a topic that we're gonna touch bases on, man. I got DJ on the other end. DJ, say what's up to the people. Yo. <laughs> He over there, E.B. going in. As y'all can see, Lil Bally talking, and she's going in. Y'all know she don't play when it come to her. Ooh, okay. Y'all already know what's going on. You see by that title and that thumbnail, what's about to happen? Right now, hopefully these two women don't attack me at once. DJ, I, I might need you to jump in if they try to, you know, bash us. But right now, we're going to talk about why is it that men and women have two different standards? Why is it a such thing as double standards? I'm going to sit back because y'all know I can go. I'm going to let the women tell their side. I'm going to eat a little bit and we're going we gonna to dive in. Baby, do you mind passing me that water and that Kool-Aid, please? As y'all can see, live through the eye tonight. You know what I'm saying? Pick up and kill it and pick up and yeah. But, <laughs> but all right. Uh, Leah and Anna, take the flow. Yeah, they leave. Start. Uh, okay. As you see, everybody want to eat. <laughs> Nobody want to talk. Um, I just feel like that's <clears throat> just the way the world is. Men, they can do what they want, and they gonna everything's gonna be just fine. Mm. Starting off, if women say, "I got you know a lot of male friends," you know I'm single. Single. I got a lot of male friends, you know. I go on dates and blah blah blah. Oh she she ho, oh, she talking, she talking to too many people. You can't talk to more than a couple of um, men at a time. That's not okay. Not even a but couple. A man can have fifty million women. He a player. Mm -hmm. Women can't be players. So I just feel like that's wrong. That's number one. That's that's number one. That's that's wrong because I feel like if you're single you should, I'm not going to say you should be able to do what you want, no, you but should. I feel like you should. If you're single, you should be able to do whatever you want. Right, and not get labeled for it. Now, I'm not saying go out here and uh, women, I'm not saying go out here and uh, do sexual, have yeah, se sexual right. intercourse with everybody. But I think it's okay today. I think that's okay. I said kiss every man you went on a date with, but I'm saying it's okay today. Well, I feel like it's okay today. Do you, do you agree? I feel like it's okay today when you're single right. and do whatever you want to do. Right. Like she said, not sexual no. encounters. Yeah. Don't but do you should be able to talk much. to who you want to, right. date who you want to. Right. And I feel like it shouldn't be double standards. When males, they, like she said, they can talk to whoever they want to. They but when it comes to females, one male, oh, you done, you a hoe, you a whore, you, you for the streets. And then for the women, with the men that talk, to 50 million women, y'all want that person. I don't get it. I don't get it. Y'all know what he doing, but y'all still want him. Right, baby? Hey, I'm still up. No, you you I'm giving y'all a phone. Y'all ready? Go ahead. I'm going to jump my pool leg. Yo, what? <laughs> pool leg. So... I'm not gonna sit here and argue with these ladies. There is a such thing of double standards. That's life. That's 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 just what it is. I didn't make it up. Hey, what I'm gonna say is to give men, uh, um, I don't wanna call it an, an excuse, but this is what I will say. Most most women, not all women, ladies, mm -hmm. not all. Most women look at men as dogs. I didn't say all, but most women look at men as dogs. That's the truth. My family is 
90% women. 90% women, right? And all I hear is, oh, he a dog, oh, he a dog. Oh, he... So, if I grew up like that, 9 out of 10, most other people grew up like that because that's all I heard growing up. Oh, he a player, he a dog. Oh, you just like the rest. Every time a man meet a girl, here we go. Mm-mm, you got a lot of, you got a lot of this. So you got a lot of that. Oh, I bet you got this. Oh, I bet you got that. It ain't never, it was never give him a fair chance. So my thing is when a woman date a man, she already went in that relationship knowing he was a dog. This is my opinion. I'm not saying that this is all women. So boom, for a man on the other hand. So when that man messed up in a woman's eyes, well, after he messed up, my opinion, a woman take a man back multiple times because she already knew he was a dog. She just wanted to give that dog a chance. Now a man, that's what the double standards come in at. A woman can mess up and we're done. I mean, who know? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> bye bye. Peace. What that boy Martin used to say, get the step in. But let's be real here. Now, since y'all wanna say double standards, right? Women already expect every man to be a dog. That's my opinion. 90%, 95%, all right? Now, for for men, when we see a woman, and I'm speaking for myself also when I say this, when you see a woman and you give her a chance, I promise you, ladies, remember this. That man see you as perfect when he made you his girlfriend. And when you mess up, he's you might think, oh, you care more because you show more or you torn or you're heartbroken. But in reality, he more heartbroken because he thought you was perfect. You never once thought he was perfect. It's my opinion. So when a woman messes up, it's kind of like, bro, crushed. Not saying a woman not hurt, but the man be more hurt because we never assumed you was a dog. Never says, oh, shit, ho, because why a man ain't making a hoe his girlfriend, but a woman will make a nigga that was a hoe her man. Say what y'all want, ladies. I know. <laughs> Say what y'all want. Okay, but what if, they bro what if they broke up not because she was cheating? What if it was just something else? Okay, give me something else. But right now, we're talking about double standards, so give me another double standard situation. Like, okay, what if, <laughs> Let me buy what my if came to the relationship, he wasn't, we, we didn't think he was a dog. Mm. Okay. That's a good one. What if he was sweet talking, saying I was, you know, selling a dream? He said, it, he said everything didn't matter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we do that, fellas. Yeah. Don't kill oh, me. I know. Don't kill me, guys. Don't kill me. I know. Me. But on that note, it's just a double standard. I'm, I'm not against that it's a double standard. I'm so, just saying. Okay. You'll never that, take back a female that cheated on you. No. You will never take back a female that cheated on you. Ian, you cheated on her like 10 plus times. He don't care. No. That's crazy. No. What if she was just trying to get you back? I know y'all say females. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. I'm going to tell this. I'm going to tell this. I'm going to tell this. Okay, can you tell this to me? Can you get the call to me? Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Do what they're doing to my people the other day. Okay, y'all. Here's the thing. That's crazy. I do not play tit for tat. I do not. Because... A lot of people play tip for tat only because of their pride. They're like, okay, well, she did me like this, so I'm gonna do her like that. She ain't about to do me like that, or he did me like this, so I ain't about to do that. Well, I'm gonna do that because he did this. No. So if you do it, mean it. A little while. Right. If you do it, mean it. Don't I do it because he did it. And if you can't take what he did, just leave. And see, fellas, you don't know. don't try to don't try. Oh, no, you good. I'm gonna see, fellas. Y'all heard on him. Somebody, she's just getting the lick back? Yeah. <laughs> I've never don't cheated. Let's get that out there. I've don't never cheated. You never cheated on the before. I have never cheated. Close to it, but I never cheated. Close was enough. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> don't try to oh, do out of that. what he did just to, just to say, oh, I got him back because you still hurt. Even oh. if you got him back, you still hurt. So okay. don't, don't, don't play too much. But why do guys feel it? like when females cheat, Oh, it's because they got feelings for that person. They can't just cheat. Ooh. That, that's that's a good damn question. But we tell you why? 
Because again, when a woman have sex with another man, and no disrespect, and I could be wrong, this is my opinion, my opinion, a man can have sex with a woman and have no feelings attached at all. I know some women that can do it. But I don't know, I don't know, I don't know many women that can do it. Right. I don't know many women. Some type of That's true. My thing some is, my thing is, people can say what they want. They can say however they want. They can say however they feel. Me personally, I've been around a lot of women. My family, 95% women. I done been with women. I didn't live that lifestyle of women. Y'all try to keep the smoke out the camera, please. Thank y'all. Oh. So, with that being said, think about this. Think about this. Why would a woman say she love a, a dude so bad? And it's vice versa for a man, but right now we're speaking on double standards and this is just the way the world works. Right. Why would she even open her legs to this man? Because what she have is a prize. In my eyes, I can't speak for all men. Women rule the world just because of what they have between their legs. It rules the world. Man can think that we rule the world. No, ain't nothing really moving without. Niggas will cross out their grandma to hit some, some new, you know what I'm saying? So my thing is, if she did it, she had to like, it because why would she just, why would she just lay down with him? That's just our opinion. Us as men, like why would she just literally lay down with somebody with no feelings of test at all. Okay, you can like somebody, but you don't have to have feelings for somebody. And I'm not giving that as an excuse, right? But you can say, "Ooh, because I, I want to have sexual encounters." That don't mean you got feelings for him. So, but like, you could just say, "Oh, he's cute." Exactly. And say, "Okay, well, I'm speaking for women, but you can." Oh, he's cute. I, I, I have sex with him. He's cute. That don't mean I'm like, "Oh, I'm feeling him," and I just wanna. How no. How would you know though? What you mean? Because the only way you're gonna know if that's the type of person, if that's how you move. Because the only way I'm gonna know if that's how I move. No, I, I just true. have a lot of female friends, and I hear a lot of right. female friends well, and how true. they talk. That's true. that's true. And you know, some of them they can just <laughs> and be like, "Girl, I ain't talking to him no more." Like, and I'm like, "What? How you?" And they're like, "Girl, that was whatever." I blocked him. I'm like, "Yeah." And then look, and let's be real. I mean, for the friends that I know that she have, and some of the friends I know. None of them got no men. True. None of them got no men because every time one thing go wrong, they don't stick around. See, the problem is a lot of women nowadays, I ain't gonna speak there, not, not all women. Why is it, you know, we talking double standards. We can go double standards. I know, and I'm not saying that women don't. So let's not say I'm saying that. What I'm about to say is, the, the percentage of men is, is is more than women when it comes to a man talking to a broke girl than a girl talking to a broke man. Mm, because society puts in women's head oh, that men okay. know. For real, society okay. puts in women's okay. head Let me hear that it. the man is a provider. <laughs> <laughs> Hey fellas, you see, so, y'all got y'all one. And, and, and a lot of rich <laughs> men will tell you they don't care about what kind of money you got. They don't care. They just want you to treat them nice, give them peace. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna gonna tell y'all no, I'm a man. You know what most men? You know what most men want? They got money, and no disrespect to the dudes that that got money. They do all that. They want you to be a fucking maid at home because if a nigga can feed you, he can starve you. So for all my women, make sure you got your own bag with or without a dude. Because if he can feed you, he can starve you if he's not the right guy. If he, if, he, if he the guy with the money, he's going to try to put you in a position to make the money whether y'all together or not. If he ain't the guy trying to make sure you got money if y'all break up today or tomorrow, then that's the wrong dude. Because that means he thinking for himself. You got to be thinking for right now and for each other when y'all together. So if I got the money, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure she got the money. Am I wrong? I mean, am I lying? No. I'm, I, no, I'm lying. <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know how I get, I get all, yeah. So what I'm getting at is, I hear that women like to run to the dudes that got money, but I guarantee you, all the female friends that I know, niggas that got money, for one, no disrespect, and I ain't telling them no niggas. He cheating, he, and it's not about him cheating, he lying to you. But two, get what, going out, 
You got everybody. He, he wants to tell everybody, "Hey, bro, you know my girl, the homebody." <laughs> yeah, you made her stay at home. You ain't let her go out. So a lot of the dudes with money controlling. Because why? You only let allow him to control you because of what he have. You gotta be yourself, whether he got it or not. And also, you need to tell him, teach me how to make some money. Show me how to make the money. Instead of buying me a Birkin bag or a Gucci bag, hey, I, I, I wanna start selling hair. Tell him, buy you this, buy you that. But y'all don't do that. And that's the double standard. Why? Because I, I know a lot of men that will take a broken woman. But a broke lady, most of the women ain't ain't talking to no nigga that ain't got no money. I don't care. I will never how, do that again. I don't care how fine he is. I don't care. Never do that. You did it before? A long time too. <laughs> Leah did it before. She just didn't want to say it. <laughs> Leah ain't wanna say it. <laughs> you ain't you, you ain't wanna say it because of me. <laughs> it's okay, happy child. It's okay. Hey, I'm going to keep it G. I ain't never really talked to no broke girl. But I didn't talk to I didn't talk to a girl and I had nothing to offer. But what I did do for the fellas that don't have anything, when you when you, when you come from where I came from, I came home from jail, I, I really had nothing to offer. So what I did was I washed dishes, I cleaned up, I made sure when she came home, she had nothing to worry about. The house was, what she had to do, normally when she get off, she didn't have to do no more. Because it became my job until I got on my feet. That's the difference between showing your appreciation and just using somebody. Cause a lot of men, a lot of men and women would manipulate you to make you thinking that, oh, you, if you love me, <laughs> you love, hey y'all, love is not enough. It is not enough. Uh, you, do y'all agree? Mm-hmm. That word gets thrown around way too much. Anybody can say I love you, but it'd be the same person that a Stab in the back, lie on you, steal like to steal from you. Yeah, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Turn the love to loyalty, and then you're gonna see where you can go and how far you can get. We didn't got off the topic for real. So back to double standards. Another double standard, I will say that we have. Women, a woman can have two kids, a man can have four, and it's a problem. I've seen it. I I, well, no, it's like even. <laughs> it's even. No, no it's no. even. It's well, even. I mean, I can't mm -hmm. say. No, it's really even. Because I don't have kids, so I feel like I shouldn't speak on this because this is not in my in my lane. But I will say, I love kids, so I don't mind as long as no extraness that come with it. I'm good. Like I'm, okay. I'm good. Okay, just because she said that, I gotta count on that because she said with no extras come with it. Um, she got to understand that the guy don't have control of what the extra that come with it. So it's either you with it or you're not. Oh, no, but I am. No, but you get it. But do you, but do you, do you like, get what I'm saying, though? Yeah. You got to you gotta be able to accept it bad or good. If you if you okay with talking to a man with kids, then you're okay with it. And, and whatever come with it, y'all will take it together. Okay, well, I'm going to look at witness right now. I'm okay with it. So I'm gonna say yeah. Cause I don't have no, cause I ain't got no, I ain't got no smell. I don't got no smell. But what I'm saying is, the difference to, to count on Leah part, then I'm gonna get to Anna. To count on her part is, I get what she's saying. Well, like not the extra, like the baby mama drama and all that. But whether people know it or not, the baby mama drama starts, and all guys, you have to listen to me. The baby mama, the baby mm -hmm. mama drama starts with you, brother. Cause your baby mama only gonna do what you allow her to do when it comes to your your spouse. Other than that, you'll take all the drama by yourself. But if you allow them to disrespect your girl behind her back, they're going to definitely disrespect her in her face. So I make sure it's respect all around the board. Whether she here, whether she not here, it is what it is. On another situation, it's more so of, uh, I didn't hear a girl say, uh uh, girl, he got, girl, he got three kids. Hell no, I'm not talking to him. But she got two. I'm like, um, make that make sense. You got two. And you're not with the baby daddy, and he got three. And just because he have three, you don't want to deal with the baby mamas. But what if the dude that's, that's trying to date you don't want to deal with your baby daddies? That would never make sense. Oh, I can't speak. I don't know. Oh. I have kids, <laughs> so I can speak. But I, yeah. I always talk to a guy with kids because I have kids. Like Right. 
That's a, that's good though. Right. Like, I know some girls that won't talk to a dude if he no, got kids. That, that and I, heard, I would rather talk to a guy that has kids because he knows how kids are. Like, right, and it, it so, showed that it, he might be responsible. And exactly. whether whether women know it or not, when a dude got kids, how about you try to see how he is with his kids? You might you might see a different side of him that you never thought. You might be like, wow, I can have kids with him. Exactly. This is my opinion. What y'all got next, man? Give me something. Give me some. Let's give us one hard topic and. One last, one last question, and or one last topic, and we gonna leave it at that. Okay, this could be a good question. Uh, why do women think keeping sex away from a man is a punishment? I don't think that's a punishment. Me it's personally, not, I feel like it's not, not because if he ain't getting it from you, <laughs> he's about to go get it from somebody else, and then you gonna be even better. Okay, let me get another one. I guess, I I guess that what. I guess that wasn't it. <laughs> I guess that wasn't it. Nah, that was not it. <laughs> that was not it. Just say it. Uh, okay, cool. What do you, what do you guys think about a household? Because I hear a lot of women saying, I ain't going 50-50 with no nigga. So is it 50-50? Is it 60-40? Is it 70-30? <laughs> I just need to know. I, I I I hear a lot of girls saying, any female. No, a girl made a post on Instagram the other day and said, this nigga. Uh, she said basically this dude, this nigga want to have sex with me and think I'm gonna go 50 50 up in this relationship. Okay. Let Anna go first. I know your ass is gonna be what they want. What what what, what they people should hear. I got to hear Anna. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Because I know you, I already know what I think no, you're going to say. No, I'm okay with doing 50 50. What? Yeah, I mean, I'm I didn't think she's going to say that. I'm used to doing stuff by myself. So. Leah. Amen. I'm Leah. Okay. okay. So I'm okay That's a good 50 /50. answer. I'm okay with 50 50. But mm -hmm. I feel like if you're in a relationship for a long time with that person and y'all married, I feel like they should pay the rent or the mortgage, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and the female pay the inside bills. Okay. Okay, go. What? Say it. <laughs> she said it. What though? I'm gonna hear in your in your type of form, like your example, like. Well, like she said, anybody that knows me knows I do things by myself for myself. Been doing it for a long time. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm in a well, if. Y'all heard what she said, if. Yeah. Right, shut up. In the comments, drop down below. <laughs> so I think about that, if. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you saw it. I'm in a relationship right now. We have a nice house. You know, he's a great, great guy. Am I? <laughs> Everybody, not all at oh, once. Lord. No pictures. No pictures, please. <laughs> I'm for doing, you know, 50 50. Like, boy, Rob is that guy. He'll be like, no. I got this, you just you just pay this, get this, get a little. You know, he's not gonna be like, no, this what you gotta pay. He's not that guy. He's not that guy. So, but I'm okay with it. Like, especially if I know I got it, no problem. Like, I'm not gonna argue with you. I, I'm gonna feel like a part of, like, cause we're a team. So I'm gonna feel like I'm playing my part. Like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So yes, I am for it. But he's not that guy, but I'm for it. Okay, y'all, here we go, here we go. Let me tell y'all what I think and how I move. So if I, okay, I'm, I'm like, I'm with the 50-50, y'all. That's just me. I always been like that. It's always 50-50 with me, no matter who I talk to. But, no, you don't have to take it back, because it's the truth. So, you, but you still not get where I'm going. You can't take it back, you okay, said it. No, you can't take it back, because then it's like you're lying. Wait, but you, but you're not lying if you let me if you let me tell my side. Go, go, go. Y'all see how she just tried to do that? But anyway, she said she take it back. So do you mean it or not? I mean it. Okay, so that's it. Okay. That's it. So boom. Do you want to finish, Parker? I meant it. I really did. So when that's he it. said what he said, I was like, oh, okay. That's, that, but that's not what but I thought. But you didn't let me finish. So you don't know why I was going to go with this 50-50. Okay, go ahead. Right. So I'm a 50-50 guy, no matter what. I don't care how fine a girl is, I don't care what she got, what she don't got. This is why I'm 50-50. I'm 50-50 because it's an option. 
I'm not obligated. So me telling Leah not to do this, cause I want to tell her, nah, babe, I'm gonna pay for this. Nah, babe, I got this. I make our relationship 70-30 by choice. Not because she make it, she make me feel like I have to do anything. Now you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. See how you do it? Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, because y'all will be out. And then I'm like, I got to be like, and he'll get mad. And I'm like. So listen, y'all, I only get mad because of this. I'm going to tell y'all why I get mad and I get frustrated. I get irritated with Aaliyah and I still do to this day. Why? Because we can be in an airport like we was the other day mm -hmm. and her bag heavier than mine. And she instead of nagging at me to get her bag. Lil would take out the trash and I'm sitting right there and I'm like, I'm gonna take the trash out. Oh, I got it. If you don't get back and let me be a man. No, for real. Like she don't, since me and Lil been talking and before we started actually made it official, she, um, she still not allowing me to be that man for her because she's so used to doing everything I by herself. It. And I can say this to y'all with no problem. Like one day I was trying so hard to do everything, open the door, make her not do this, make her not do that. And I was just doing it. And then I just, this is when I knew I really, really cared because I was crying. I was like, damn, like she really don't want me to just be a man. I was in my feelings about it. I was really upset about that. Cause I was like, damn, like how can I, I'm trying to show that I'm here, but it's like I'm not here because she's still trying to do everything that I'm trying to do. So it kind of frustrated me to where like, I don't want to scream at her for doing what she think is best for herself, but I also didn't want her to make it feel like I'm not here. So women, if you got a man that's trying to be a man and you're not allowing him to be a man, I promise you, you're going to regret it. And then if women, if women, y'all want to think about it, like Leah and Anna in their past, they didn't talk to guys that, that didn't really bring them to the table, didn't do nothing. Y'all should appreciate when a man like me come. Don't push him away just because embrace it. Enjoy it. You finally get to be a real woman in your relationship. Can I say something? If I swear. And I'm, I'm going to say this. Oh, I don't want him to cut it. <laughs> I swear. I, it's not that I don't want it. It's not that. And you probably going to say, this is an excuse. You about to say, but I just don't want it to be taken away from me. No. Oh, because that's something you be saying. No, it's not that I don't want it. It's just that I'm not used to it. I know you've been telling she been telling me this for three and a half years. So when it happens, it feels like okay. Have it feels like it's fake. It feel like it feel like um. Okay, he say. Now mind you, I'm used to doing stuff for myself. He'll be like, "Hey, babe, take this. Take some money. Here, go do it." And I'll be like, "No." I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Like, no. And he'd be like, girl, you don't get this money here. Take the money. And I'm like, no, like, I'm good. Of course, any, any person, I'm not going to say woman. I'm not going to say woman. Any person, if somebody gives them some money, they're going to be like, oh, thank you. You know right. what I'm saying? But it on the back end, yes, I want it. But on the back end, yes, it's yeah. like, it's like, oh, this too much. But you happy. You're right. still you're happy on the inside. You're like, oh, okay, he's so sweet. He did this. But it's like, oh, this too much. Right. You and ain't the fact that it. she said it to y'all, like I don't see it. Cause she just be like, no, I'm good. And I just be like, okay. I'd be like, what the hell? Like, I just been with girls that hand is out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a bittersweet. Like, I love that she's like that. But I feel like we've been we've been rocking so long to where I'm not allowing it to be an excuse anymore. Because my thing is, that's like me not changing because I'm used to being a certain way. And I've changed tremendously. Oh, yes. you have. Yes, Damn. You have. <laughs> so my thing yeah. is, I'm not saying, I'm not giving that an excuse to live when, or if I do some show like, or, or I'm trying to do something that she, I'm not doing that. So I just want all women, if you got a man that trying to be a man, let him, because I promise you, if y'all stop talking or something happens to him today or tomorrow and you get somebody that's not like him, you're going to regret all the times you said no. Because it's not about saying no. It's about, boom, think of this, y'all. Hey, Leah, take this. This, this ain't number 2,000. Take this, go do something. No, it's cool. I don't want it. 
What if she would have just took it and put it up for a rainy day? What if she would have just took it and stashed it or went and did something nice for me with the money? She still allowed me to feel like the man that I am. It's like taking away something from a man. You don't want to take that away from him because now it's kind of like he don't feel like he's doing enough. Because now it's like, well, damn. Okay, well, now he's going to try to go bigger. And he's going to keep going bigger. And then now it's just going to be like, you're going to be saying no, then you're going to be saying no, then you'll say no. But then you're going to, eventually I learned, I learned her. So money, I'm not going to say nothing about it. So I would give her some flowers. Leo type of person, you can go get her a $1 card from Dollar General right on it. And she's going to be, it's going to feel like you gave her the same thousand dollars. So she's a different girl. I come from girls that I, would, I can give that, that, them flowers and that, and that, and that dollar card to, or, or go shopping for them. And I barely got to thank you. So the fact that she shows so much appreciation is like, oh, I'm doing it for the right person. It's not about what you do. It's about doing it for the right person. So my thing is, I feel like she deserved what I'm doing so she don't never have to say no. Because I wouldn't do it if I didn't feel like she deserved it. That makes sense? Yeah. All right, so I ain't gonna hold y'all up because I know this conversation and flipped and turned. But anyway, y'all, this is my friend, Anna. Go follow her on Instagram at... Mama Anna underscore I she don't play by the mama and she don't know about her kids. Period. I mean, oh. <laughs> he said she don't know about her kids. She love her kids. I meant to say she don't play by her mama, but and she don't play by her kids. And that's why her Instagram name is Mama Anna. Period. And y'all know, go follow. Ellie about Monet. Yeah, go follow both of them. And y'all know what it is. Hey, I am Robert Browns, PT. We was checking in. Now we're checking out. Hey, hey, hey. Be take, be take. they loving my swag. Hey, they loving my swag. Yeah, 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 yeah. They loving my swag. Yeah, they loving my dad. They loving my dad. They loving my dad. Talking my swag.